Oh man, so much to talk about. Really? What happened? Yeah. Something bad happened? No, nah, not something bad, just like something like a little dicey. What happened? So I had airport standby and I was there for like like four and a half hours and I get a trip, this three day trip. Yeah. And so I'm like, all right, like so I go to the gate, check in with the ops agent, go down the jet bridge. There's a supervisor there with one of the flight attendants who's like off to the side. And so like I'm walking by her and she's like, you know, stay like six six feet apart yeah. and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, like, okay. Yeah. Um, but I was like, yeah, like what's going on? And then like I could just tell like by like the supervisor's face that like, like she was sick in some capacity. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay. And so like I put myself on the plane and I'm like, yo, like what is going on right now? So she was in an A position, she was working and she got pulled from this trip because she worked with someone who tested positive for, uh, for Corona. Mm -hmm. So they were taking her off and making her self quarantine for 14 days. She wasn't experiencing any symptoms or anything. Um, so it was just kind of like a precautionary thing. She was A position and I was taking over for her and I'm like, okay, so if she does have it, like I'm not really trying to work like, like in the same position, like on like the same galley and sitting on the jump seat yeah. and everything. Yeah, so the supervisor was like seeing if like we were okay with like working after like knowing this information. And so one of the flight attendants said he was fine and then I'm like, dude, to be honest, like my gut is telling me like, no, like not to work. So, um, yeah. so he's like, all right, just like the procedures right now is just like for you to like call off if you're not uh, comfortable flying. Like I would have been fine working if like <laughs> if she wasn't getting pulled and I was working her same position. Yeah. I'm like, nah, like that's, that's just like asking for it kind of. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, I'm on call tomorrow, but yeah, that was a little, a little dicey. I just, I felt like anxious about it. And I'm like, dude, like, to be honest, I just don't feel comfortable working. He's like, no, that's fine. Like, I, it makes sense. So, but yeah, just to be safe, I was like, nah. Like I worked yesterday, like you guys saw I worked yesterday and it was like completely fine, super easy. But like this, this was a different situation. So uh, yeah. Back on call tomorrow. I know. I don't even know how to say it. I was just because I just told her. I'm like, yeah, I just got a three day trip, and then two seconds later, I texted her and I said, I was just like, not working today. Can I, you come pick me up? I knew something was wrong. I was like, oh shit. I googled <laughs> Southwest fires flight attendants. <laughs> I was like, what? No. <laughs> No, no, no. No, I no, freaked no. out. I was like, Southwest cancels flight. Southwest. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was no. like, oh my god. Just a little precautionary, you know. Yeah, yesterday was a little bit spooky. It's even spooky here right now. Everything's shut down, and I think there's only like two flights that are going out tonight. My bad, I'm a little tired. You know that feeling when you sit your entire airport standby, and then you get a call to work a flight? Yeah, that's me right now. Yeah, I don't actually have to work it, so I'm just deadheading, but got changed like seven different times so yeah <laughs> yeah it's just, it's just crazy it's like so quiet everyone's just like just like on edge a little paranoid spooky vibes spooky vibes for real i'm, I'm very too. i'm camera shy very camera oh, shy oh i can see I don't that take pictures, how's it going man how's, good, the, how's that how's the energy out here <sighs> well on edge are you good or I'm good, but I'm living on the edge, so I'm 50-50. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's 50-50. I feel that. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we've been doing this for a while, so. That's, that's true. I feel like, you know, we just, we just gotta, you know. Live our life. You yeah, know? yeah, you gotta, you can't, can't, be, can't be living in fear, you know what I mean, man? With a dude ski, no fear at all. Okay. Living on faith. Y'all yeah. already know. How, how we doing? How, how you living? Just you know, trying to maintain. Yeah. Chilling like a villain. Yeah, on penicillin. You already know that. All right. <laughs> love it, love it. Yeah, they just gave me this little, little two day, little deadhead to uh, Salt Lake. Salt Lake, and what then you, what you do tomorrow? Well, they scheduling wants me to call them when I get in, and they're gonna give me exactly eight hours of rest, and uh, then I work one to Phoenix tomorrow, and then deadhead back to LA. <laughs> Are you from LA? And uh, uh, no, I'm from the East Coast, Rhode Island. But um, hey, what made you wanna come in? I mean, West Coast, best coast, you know? Crazy uh, breaking news, we got 
no service no service on these flights it's, and we can uh, we can wear masks now too but you know i ain't got no masks i don't need them i think we'll be all right but you know that's the uh that's the sentiment what's your name my man akai akai yes good to meet you akai nice to meet you too sir i'm gonna be sleeping so don't be too loud boys you're a youtube influencer like this, man. Something like that. I don't really know what I'm influencing, but hey, how's it going? I just got to Salt Lake City. You guys wanted me to give you a call? Okay. Now, we do have to change your import time in order for us to give you uh, enough rest for you to be legal to work this. Okay. So, you cannot at all step on the plane or uh, do any duties until 9.20 central time. 9.20 central time? What is this white stuff falling from the sky? Oh my gosh. Snow? Snow? I know, what is this? It's Snow? Like what is this? Bro. This is what is this white stuff falling from the sky? Yes. Oh my gosh. I didn't even bring a coat. I just had my sweater. I didn't even think snow was like still a thing. I thought everything got canceled. NBA, snow, damn. This is a uh, very highly bougie hotel. But the cool thing about this one, one, they have a doorbell, it's a little, a little bit much. But your room key is an actual room key. Oh, damn. Look at this. This is even nicer than I remember it. Damn. Let's check out the digs. Woo! It's a nice little little living room right here. I like it. And then we move our way into the master bedroom. Wow, look at this. This is so nice. It's like super old school, but it's like old school like royalty. Oh my goodness. Wow, so beautiful. Wow, outside, nice little balcony. And here's the bathroom. Oh my goodness, a bathtub. Beautiful shower. Sheesh. Shout out, Vivi. Hey, what is in here? What is this? Oh, a toilet. <laughs> Sheesh. I'm gonna get lost in this hotel room. Damn. Come on, where is it? Let's go, baby, we got the bathrobes. Now I'm not gonna touch those cause, oh damn, true. I didn't even think about that. I've seen YouTube videos of like people cleaning hotel rooms and it's pretty gross. Even with the virus going on, like, I don't know. I like don't wanna touch anything except for like the bed. It feels good to be back like in a hotel and actually working. This is my first layover in literally a month, like four weeks from today was my last layover, so it's good to get back. You know, I was cooped up in the apartment for so long, so it's good to get out there and like pretend that like everything is in like crazy. It's good, I'm blessed I can get back into it, so very cool. I have a 745 shuttle and it's 1.16 in the morning right now, so. It's an easy day tomorrow though, just working one flight from Salt Lake City to Phoenix and then deadheading back to LA and then I'm done at like noon. So yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep. So see you in the morning. For like, I've been waiting for this shuttle at the hotel for like 15 minutes and he's already like 15 minutes past. So I called them because it's like contracted out and they said that they should be coming here soon, but I think there's one across the street. So I don't know. He might think I'm over there. So I'm going to walk over there and see what's up. There's these trains that come by though. So I'm not trying to get hit. He's going. No trains. Ah, man. What a morning, huh? Hey, how's it going, man? Pretty good. How are you? Good, good. Here we are. Thank you. I'm with the Southwest. I was over there and I had a 745 show. Are you the one that I was just called about? Yeah, probably. I just walked over because I saw Sky Hop Global. I didn't know if you guys okay, no. came over here instead. You back? Just one? 
Yeah, yeah, it's just me. Yeah, so that was a little wacky. I don't even think the guy was gonna come over, so I'm glad I, I'm glad I just walked over and just figured it out because I could have been waiting there for hours. So. Hey, Matt. What's up? Matt. Chilling. Just you. Just me. Yeah. I told him we'd start up as soon as you got up yeah, here. Yeah, so yes, that's fine. Good to go. Yeah, we're good. All right. Just got back to LA right now, but when I was going to the gate in salt lake you could see that everyone was like lined up already to like board and it's always so awkward because like everyone's just giving you like the death stare like why are you late what happened hello and welcome to lax hello we have implemented trying to vlog here yeah? uh, <laughs> right, i'll just wait please remember these few simple rules wash your hands wash your hands often or use hand sanitizer with don't touch your face alcohol Avoid touching your face. All right, we get it. <laughs> we know. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue. Like I was saying, it's just like so awkward when like when you're just coming up to the gate and everyone's in their boarding position. I want to be like, ah, see what happened was I got in late last night and scheduling gave me eight hours of rest. They said 7.45 for the shuttle, but it didn't come at 7.45 and I had to walk across in the snow, you know, so. It's just, it's just a whole big thing. But yeah, we're all done. I did my uh, one working leg and then I just deadheaded from uh, Phoenix uh, back to LA, so. It's crazy still, like nobody on the planes. Everybody's still wearing masks. We actually, we've been having changes every single day. So like, first it was that we were gonna have like service that was only like a can of water and a bag of pretzels. Then they said there's no service to be done on any of the flights. And then today they were saying that they're going to take out all of the magazines, all of the magazines and everything in the seat back pocket and everything. So seat back pocket's pretty nasty, like on a good day. So that was probably a good call. This is the new place where you come in LA to get your, uh, to get your Ubers and your Lyfts. It's right next to Terminal 1, so you just walk all the way to the left. This place is usually swamped. There is nobody here. Hey, what's up, man? You good, yourself? Good, good. Where am I? Wasn't that hard to find you, man? <laughs> Yeah, here. Bro, it's crazy. This is usually swamped. Yeah. Like fun. big time. Even the lot is pretty like dead. You gotta wait like two or three hours to get a ride. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Crazy. How you how you been doing with everything? Um, business is slow. Like really slow. So yeah. Like, like how how much like in like terms of numbers on like a day or a week? Uh, like what were you get getting in terms of rides? Like how many? I've been driving kind of sporadically. Yeah. So, like typically I drive full time. Yeah. And um, it, like I could give you a more consistent answer then. But <laughs> yeah. since I've been driving like kind of randomly now. Yeah. Like it's hard to keep track, but it's definitely slow. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I'm a flight attendant and there's like, the max is like 10 people that even are like flying right now, so. For like the whole plane? Yeah, yeah, for the whole plane, so it's pretty much empty. And uh, we just stopped doing service. Um, yesterday, they said we weren't gonna do service anymore, so. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, the work is definitely much easier. Um, and I'll definitely say I'm glad to still be employed, because I know a lot of people don't have work right now, so. That's true. Um, Oi. Thanks a lot, my man. Hey, you're welcome. It welcome was, uh, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Hey, you're hey guys, for you, man. Oh, appreciate oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I know it's been slow, so. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Of course, man. I got you, bro. You gotta, gotta stick together, you know? It's a crazy, crazy time right now. That's true. I'll but, uh, yeah, cheers, bro. Be careful. Yeah, that Uber driver is pretty cool. I thought I'd, uh, you know, give him a little, a little something, something. I just can't imagine. I mean, he said that this is his full time job and, like, it's been slow and, it's just like, it's tough, I can't imagine. You know, he's got a wife and he's got a little girl. So I'm like, damn, bro. I'm like, try and help out a little bit. Oh, cute. I love you, be home soon, and be. Mary Bag flew to Alabama today just to like be with her family. And she's been here for literally like three weeks straight. Like at least I get to like fly some days and she's just like going nuts. So she's like, I think I need to go home for a little bit, so. She flew there, and I know what you guys are thinking, oh, wow, what's she doing flying? Like, everyone tell this thing. Just, just, just stop. Just don't do that. Just be nice. Be respectful. Spread positivity. 
Anything that is a vibe 0.5 is approved. Everything else, yo, just open up a Word document. You can type a little nasty comment in there and you can save it and you can just, you know, take it out whenever you want and then you can type it in there again and then just save it. That's just way better. But anything else is just, you know, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta be spreading no hate. That's all we got for today, guys. I'm off for the weekend, so I'm just gonna chill. I'm probably gonna be there. And then maybe I'll go over here and cook some food. And then I'll probably eat it over here. New member of the family for all my Star Wars nerds out here. But uh, we, we named him Remy. He looks like a Remy. Say bye, Remy.